what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, though? Thank you for tuning in to WFLNT Radio. Every morning this time, you can turn your dials to 810.5 for the TAGT show. It's early in the morning. Always remember to take some soft scrub, put it on your toothbrush, brush those raggedy teeth you got, follow behind it with a shot of pine saw, swish it around, but do not swallow it. It could be bad for your health. I'm your host, Mr. Slate, and I want to welcome you to the show. Let's get into it. What up, what up, what up, what up, though? It's your boy, Mr. Slate, checking in. It is August 27th, 2020. I'm here in Pennsylvania somewhere. I don't know where I'm headed. I'm on a 34-hour break right now, y'all. I want to welcome y'all to the T-A-G-T show, WFLNT Radio Channel 810.5, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. I definitely appreciate y'all for listening, and I hope y'all doing well out there. Right now, uh, today, I woke up, um, and I noticed that uh, the NBA is... uh, protesting slash boycotting uh, the playoffs right now um, due to a shooting of a young African-American male again by a Wisconsin uh, police officer uh, in the in the city of uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, Let's get through our introduction and let's get into it y'all because this is something that has to be discussed this is uh definitely a platform where i like to discuss things of this nature i try to keep my personal opinions at bay at times but in situations like this um these things need they they need to be spoke on because and on all platforms, if whatever platform you have, and you know, if you have Facebook, Twitter, uh, anything, uh, express your frustration uh, in a in a in a in a way that it gets it gets the point across that we're frustrated. We're frustrated, and enough is enough. Enough is enough, y'all. So let's get into it. You can check us out on. Apple Podcast, Speaker, uh, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcast, Castbox, and multiple other podcast platforms. You can contact us. Uh, email Mr. Slate eight one zero at gmail dot com. Also, hit the hotline, y'all. Y'all can hit the hotline. Leave your name and your location, and um, a brief uh, shout out or whatever. Uh, if you have birthday shout outs or anything like that, let me know that hotline number is 810-553-6592. That's 810-553-6592. Facebook, The T-A-G-T Show. YouTube, T-A-G-T Show. Twitter, at Mr. Underscore Slate 810. <coughs> also, excuse me, hit us on IG, The T-A-G-T Show. Hit your bells, hit your likes, hit your subscription so uh, all that y'all hit us up <clears throat> i thank uh all my listeners out there for staying tuned in i'm gonna take a sip of water right quick i thank y'all so much i really really do and by me out here working and rolling and and doing things i try to squeeze things in <clears throat> as quickly as i can uh if i see any update I will definitely do a do a show on this. This is episode twenty six, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it, it it is hard to do both things at one time and trying to stay up on track. So I definitely appreciate y'all. Y'all make it all worth my while to do this. I definitely thank y'all for appreciating um, just a little bit of work that I put in to make this happen. <clears throat> Who was uh, Jacob S. Blake? He was a 29-year-old African-American man, uh, uh, resided in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Um, He was shot by a Kenosha, uh, Wisconsin police officer by the name of Rustin Shesky. That's R-U-S-T-E-N. Last name is S-H-E-S-K-E-Y. This incident uh, happened on the 23rd of August. Um, 
as a, as the police officers were attempting to arrest him. Um, there are reports that there was a knife inside of his car. I don't see how that warrants him being shot in the back. You know, you. <clears throat> I don't see. I, there had there, which we all know that there is some type of fear of black people. I don't know. I, and, and I, I go to a checkout at a store sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time. And it, the clerk is of European descent and there's some type of tension, like they're nervous, they're shaky, they're nervous. I'm not aggressive. I'm not anything. I'm just paying for my products and getting ready to leave. But I see this shaking and nervousness like and I think to myself, what's the deal with that, man? And you don't think that transfers over to uh, police officers? It's ridiculous. Okay, even if he did brandish a knife, you have tasers, you have mace, um, you have rubber bullets. You have non-lethal ways of subduing whoever you're trying to. to to arrest but your first reaction is to shoot to kill now if this person brandished a gun and pointed at you by all means anybody with a brain in their head would blow a hole in that person and I don't mean to be too graphic but let's keep it real if I got a gun let's just say hypothetically if I have a gun okay and I'm asleep in my house And somebody kicks my door in and I see it's just a whacked out uh, guy on some type of pill. I don't know what he's on, but all he has is a knife. Me, myself, personally, I'm if I if I if I don't have nothing else like a bat or something like that, I'm 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 shooting for your kneecaps or something. I'm I'm going I'm going to do you in. I'm. I'm not trying to kill you, but I definitely want that person. I want to lay that person down. Now, if you break in my house and you have a gun, then it's fair game. It's on and cracking. I'm 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 going for your head. I'm trying to take your head off. I don't understand. I keep seeing this. Oh, he had a he had a knife in the car. What does that that doesn't have okay if he had a knife in the car most people that I know in these days and times you need to have some type of protection with you whether it be a knife a gun a bat some mace a taser or something because it's crazy out here so if you're riding around naked with nothing like so why do they keep saying, oh, he had a knife in the car? He had a knife in the car. That's, 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 that has nothing. I'm not going to say it has nothing to do with the case, but at the same time, man, I don't, I don't see how that warrants him being shot in the back. There's other ways you got, they got rubber bullets. They got mace. They got tasers. They got all sorts of stuff, man. But the first thing they go to is a lethal weapon. Um, uh, to to subdue or or to put down somebody it's like they just they just want to shoot so excuse my frustration but i'm just i'm just talking facts i'm just talking facts if you look at the statistics uh here um i'm on statista.com and this is just you know i'm just looking at some 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 stats here and right now with African Americans in the years not even over in 2020 we're at we're at 111 deaths or more um in 2019 we had a total of 235 18 209 and 2017 223 that's a lot that's a lot you look at Hispanics they're at in 2020 71 uh, 2019 total, they had 158. 2018, they had 148. 
and 2017 they had 179 you look at um people of european descent in 2020 they had a total of 215 uh 2019 they had 370 and 2018 399 and 2017 457 now i'm throwing these statistics to say that i'm not blinded by my cultural pride uh my pride of heritage enough to say that this doesn't happen in other communities and it does we all know that but you look at the percentage let's just say uh, uh, Hispanics compared um, to 2020 right now so far there's only 71 compared to our 111 totaling 2019 you look at 235 to 158 Hispanics now if you look at the percentage that's pretty high for Hispanics because Hispanics don't outnumber African Americans here in the US they don't so you have to keep that in mind African Americans do not outnumber uh, people of European descent or European Americans so it, it, it's a you have to balance that out man you have to think that's a lot that's a lot and I would say that's a lot for any ethnic group why are we and it's rising if you look at the statistics it's rising but I'm not going to take the focus off of the killings of African Americans I'm not going to do it because people are seeing it now the percentage is way higher than any other ethnic group here in this country I definitely want to shout out the um, sports community uh, that are standing up right now, specifically and especially the NBA and the WNBA. We have not heard anything yet from the NFL that I am aware of. I searched for it. I haven't heard too much, nothing drastic, but the NBA, they, they definitely stepped up. They stepped up and they are taking accountability and they're they they they're done, man. They you know what I mean? It's 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 mind blowing. Looking at the Washington Post, the NBA, the MLB, the WNBA, and the MLS call off games due to this. This was posted by Ben Gulliver. Um, on August 26, 10, 03 p.m. last night. Um, in Kissimmee, Florida, the NBA's restart inside the restricted bubble at Disney World, which has proceeded smoothly for more than a month without any positive novel coronavirus tests, came to a screeching halt Wednesday when the Milwaukee Bucks refused to take the court for a playoff game against the Orlando Magic to protest the police shooting of Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin. The league announced the cancellation of all three games scheduled for Wednesday as a result and a meeting of NBA players later Wednesday night cast doubt on whether the pro the postseason will continue at all. So they were supposed to start a playoff game. The news came down on what happened. They decided to stop and say we're not playing and this trickled down to other games there's questions about is this going to be the rest of the season or is it just for this game is it just for this game or is it going to be for the rest of the season who knows me myself personally I think that it's going to be for the rest of the season until something uh, is done um, you have players and coaches uh, are, are having multiple meetings um, and the players are frustrated. And I think back on Colin Kaepernick when he started this kneeling at the national anthem and 